This is not the only type of graphic we do. Um, there's a few other things that we've done, and you might have, you guys might remember this, this is probably a couple of years ago. There's still a, a need to do storyboarding. You know, if you like to draw, we still do a lot of that type of technique. So uh, we had a Christmas campaign. Um, I think it was the Bucks and Knicks uh, a couple of years ago uh, with a guy from Hamilton. Um, uh, the producer scripted it out. We had a person, um, Bernadette Sesimir. I watched her draw all of these, and she matched to the script, and then they do an uh, you know, animation track to it, and then they actually run and shoot it. And I want to show you how actually it came together, because it was actually kind of cool the way they did it. Let's see, hopefully this is. If, uh, guys, you can always just, you got a question? You can just ask me. I know I'm kind of flying through these, but I get caught up in my own world as we talk to these. Uh, Christmas. Yeah, play that, please. Yeah. So this is a, her standard, her drawings. This was the uh, part, uh, listening to the script that was laid out by the producer. Her storyboarding. And then actually added music to actually show what they wanted to do. So we did a dry rehearsal like this. So when it came down to shoot, the camera guys know exactly what they're looking for. They're all set up to go. And we also add in a little bit of graphics to um, the little pop things. I don't know, if, does anybody remember this series? You'll see when the graphic actually comes on, when the actual movie comes on. That's when we thought the Knicks had a chance, but. <laughs> yeah. So, the, so just a, this is a Christmas game. Right. So we know we know the schedules. We know the, the basketball schedule. I knew we'd come back when we said NBA. See, I thought so, about you. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Making fun of the producer. And then this is the actual video. I love that series. I was hoping they would do it again, but uh, yeah, like you were saying, it was, we knew the game, we knew the schedules, uh, thought the Knicks had a shot, but this is out, but it came to pass, and the guy from, uh, what's his name, from Hamilton, I can't remember his name. Yeah, he led. Uh, Diggs, that's right, Diggs, yeah, yeah, they were all part of this, and it was, I think it was well done. Um, so how long did that take from start to finish from concept of the storyboard okay. to what we see on air or to, or to actual production of that. Oh, that's, oof, that took, even getting to actually shoot it took a good month and a half to actually get everything worked out. Like I said, you have to go through approval processes, a lot of script changing. Uh, Renata, she's great at this. Um, she. Uh, drove many storyboards. And now the good thing about this is we got her an iPad. So it's much yeah. more simpler. Before, you know, you still <laughs> take ESPN, you got 40 satellite dishes, you still draw my pencil. It just didn't work out. <laughs> um, but that took a good, I'm going to say, probably a month and a half to actually get to that point. It probably longer because you have to, you know, set up with the producer, with the camera guys, and with the talent when he was free. Um, but that was her main, when we have these assignments, that's your main goal is to do that. Okay, you're going to work on this. Nature, but you may do honestly eight different versions of it before it finally, you know, comes to fruition. And uh, but I think it was well done. It was definitely was worth it. 
Uh, any other questions? <laughs>